Hey, this is Alan Yip. Welcome to Study and Shine. During these times of chaos and confusion, how can you excel in your studies and achieve good results in school? Today, I want to share three big strategies with you. But first of all, as Charles Darwin, who developed the scientific theory of evolution said, is not the strongest of the species that survive, nor the most intelligent, but the ones most responsive to change. So how can you respond and adapt to all these changes? And the key is not for you to survive only, but for you to succeed. So keep that in mind. Now, let me jump right in with the three strategies for you, because I think although it's really difficult time for all of us, and it's highly challenging to really learn via the remote or online platform, you've got to still keep in mind, number one, why you need to do well in school and why doing well in school will help you next time. Now, I don't know what your aspirations and goals are, whether you want to get into a top school next time, whether you want to apply for an academic scholarship and even for an all-rounder scholarship for those students uh, who are athletes as well, you want to apply for all-rounder scholarship and the school will also look at your academic performance, just like some of my students, or whether you want to do well on IB, uh, in A-level or IGCSE, well, whatever reasons you have, you've got to keep that big reason in mind because that is the fuel for your motivation. And that motivation must come from within. If you need your parents nagging you or your teachers forcing you to study, then you are already behind. I think it's so important to keep that why, that reason in mind, okay? Because that's going to help you persist through these tough times of remote learning. And yet, they, this is the new reality, the new world of learning at the same time. So please keep that in mind. Or as he has been said, what cannot be cured must be endured. So I know it's not easy, just like many students of mine in different countries, and I always share with them, but this is the new reality, and this is the new normal, right, as you have heard. So how can you adapt to this new world of remote learning most effectively and successfully? Second strategy is you've got to find ways of study that work for you. You can't just copy someone's ways of study. Just like uh, my student who studied law at the University of Cambridge in the UK when she first arrived at Cambridge, she noticed that local students would study until 2 a.m. or 3 a.m. and she tried to copy that and you know what? That did not work out for her. She was so exhausted every single morning. So I told her, I said, this is not the game for you. Why not go to bed earlier and definitely before midnight? Maybe you need to go to bed at 11.30 and then get up earlier at 5.30 or 6. And now you study in the morning when your mind is fresh, when your body has been rejuvenated. And that worked for her. Or another student of mine in Singapore, for example, studying law as well. And uh, you know, instead of just copying all the other law students and studying like robots, at the law library, he would form, as I advise him to do so, a mastermind study group with other positive friends and top students. And he would listen, and that he found a way. He would listen to these best and brilliant minds, and he would prepare meeting minutes, and that helped him graduate from law school successfully. So you've got to find a way for you. Now, if you find yourself learning best by watching educational videos or PowerPoint slides, then that means you learn better visually. Or like that student of mine in Singapore studying law, right? He, he already graduated, he's a practicing lawyer now. Then uh, if you learn best by listening, by discussion and by, by participation, then you've got to find that way or create that opportunity for you. And like other students of mine who are athletes, they can't sit still. And by the way, you don't need to sit still to learn well. You've got to 
find your way. Maybe like just like myself, I I stand up while reading. I walk around while while learning. You can go outside and、uh, conduct a study session. The point is what works for you. You've got to find that way for you. Okay, you've got to find your own game. There is no one size fits all. Okay, and the third strategy is to really step back and reflect on habits that have worked for you, and also habits which have hurt you. Okay, for example, the habit of procrastination. You've got to evaluate why you procrastinated. Was it because of fear? Was it because of laziness? Was it because of distraction? Because of computer games? And are you taking care of your health? Your vitality.、Uh, are you having a nutritious breakfast? Because we know from studies that students who skip breakfast suffer twenty to forty percent decline in concentration, in alertness, and that won't help you when you start the day trying to learn, right? And next one is: Are you preparing well physically and mentally? You've got to have the right study station or environment. And the thing, last one is: Learn with positive emotions. Okay, no matter how tough the situation is. So I hope these strategies will help you, and I hope this session has been of service to you. Please give me a thumbs up and recommend this video and share it with other friends and family members as well. I look forward to seeing you and hearing your success stories, and all the best.